ang labo naman and parang sobrang basic na itong topic na to. Like, how to maintain your friendships once you're an adult. And when you're still studying in college, tingin mo, yung college buddies mo, you'll still be friends with them once nag-start ka na sa workplace. And I do really hope so na ganun yung mangyari sa inyo na ma-maintain yung friendship nyo with your college buddies. Pero kasi, I've seen some people na once they started working sa workplace, they start losing yung friendships na na-make nila nung mas bata pa sila. And when they start reconnecting with them, nagsistruggle sila and suddenly, loneliness sinks in sa kanila. I'm no expert in this field pero I just want to talk about it kasi it seems so underrated and pinapabayaan na lang natin. Pero it's one of the most important things in life. Like really, good relationships is what makes a good life. If you don't believe me yet, I'll leave a link dito sa show notes ko. It's right corner ng screen. It's a TED Talk talk about a study of what makes a good life. And sinabi nila doon na it's good relationships that makes a good life. So if you have time, panoorin nyo yun after you watch this video. The clearest message that we get from this 75-year study is this. Good relationships keep us happier and healthier. Period. So let me build a good intro for this story. So this is my oldest friend, Kevin. We've been friends since we were grade 1. So that's 20 years of friendship para sa inyo. Nagkita pa kami this year, last week of January, a month before we had this lockdown. Hi guys, I am Kevin. I am a medical coder by profession and I am a photographer by heart. And I've known Jack for about two decades now. Then this is Tan, my closest friend. We've been friends since grade 3. Car wash, pet, nail blush, ano ba? Angko. Then ito naman si Justin. We've been friends since grade 6. So those are my oldest and closest friends I still have from my elementary to high school days. Then from college, this is Sai. Siya yung pinakaunang friend ko sa Mapua. So blackmates kami and it's been a decade since naging mag-classmate kami sa Mapua. So that's way back in 2010. Then ito naman si Mike. Yung former business partner ko nung college. Now na nasa Japan na siya, we still talk every couple of months. And lastly, yung college barkada ko. Sobrang dami nila to mention. So I'll just show you yung picture namin. If you want to know them, check this video out. I'll link it to the show notes in the upper right corner of the screen. I have a lot more friends that I could mention, pero sobrang ahaba ng intro na to. So here's the thing, I'm no friendship expert. If you're doing well with your friendships, atulong nyo lang yan, just maintain what you're doing. Pero if you're struggling with your friendships, maybe pakinggan yung ibang sasabihin ko, and baka may magamit kayo doon. So yun, just enjoy watching this video. I don't really know where to start with this, pero simula natin dito, with maintaining your presence. So for me, pwedeng through digital presence, or kaya naman physical presence. Piliin nyo na lang siguro kung alin yung mas convenient sa inyo, or kung ano yung mas hiyang kayo. So for me, ang ginagawa ko kasi pag nandito naman sa Pilipinas yung friends ko, I just make an effort na makapunta sa events or occasions na isi-celebrate namin. So for example, pinyag, weddings, birthdays. So, so yun, I just make an effort na makapunta sa kanila sa events nila kahit na late ako. Kasi for example, minsan may gagawin ka pa before yung event eh, ba? So yun, madalas naman malabang malalate ka. Pero okay lang yun, just make an effort na makapunta ka talaga. And plus yung the fact na pagka-event yan, malamang sa malamang, nakikita mo din ibang mga friends mo na hindi mo na nakikita. So yun, it, it is really a good way para to maintain your presence with your friends. For my friends naman that lives overseas, obviously it's through digital presence kasi hindi ko pa afford to travel dun sa mga countries kung saan sila nagtatrabaho or where they live. So yun, uh, just chat with them, call them. Uh, hindi naman kailangan na matagal yung pag-uusap nyo. Kahit sandaling kamustahan lang yan, mas importante pa na maging consistent yung pag-uusap nyo pero kahit saglit lang. So, isa pang pwede nyo gawin is pagka amuwi sila ng Pilipinas, be sure to meet them kahit isang araw lang dun sa stay nila dito sa Pinas. So yun, it's a very important thing na pwede nyo gawin. Siguro yung magandang question dito is why maintaining your presence important? Yung sagot ko dito is because of emotional proximity. Oops, Dunbar said that emotional proximity decreases by 15% every year that you don't see someone face to face. Which means that it just takes a few years for someone who might have been in your top five, say in college, to go all the way to sort of the outer limits of your 150 people. So sabi nila, if, ka, if hindi ka nakipag-usap sa friend mo or hindi kayo nakita ng friend mo for a year, yung emotional bond nyo or yung emotional closest nyo decreases. So for me to explain it better, let me draw it for you. So basically, sabi dito, humans can form 150 meaningful relationships with, out of that 150, 50 of them will be your friends. And then 15 will be your good friends, and five will be your closest friendships. What I just want to say is that if yung close friends mo, hindi mo sila kinausap for a year or for a very, very long time, yung closest niya will depreciate, so pababa sila ng pababa ng pababa dito sa so Dunbar's number mo. That's one of the reasons why you have friends before na you're sharing intimate parts of your life, so comfortable ka pang ikwento sa kanila yung buhay mo, pero now, na hindi na kayo nag-usap, you're not sharing as much with that person anymore. Last point that I wanted to make about maintaining your relationship with your friends is, uh, find 
find a way to include them in your life. Find the harmony between your career, your relationships, and your passions. For me, how I do it is I still include my friends sa mga vlogs ko and sa mga podcasts ko. Now, I know hindi sila masyado nakikita ngayon. It's just because of the pandemic. Pero just just check my videos para mga 8 to 9 months ago, you'll see bits of them. When I go to interesting events, I make sure to invite some of my friends and may iba namang sasama sa amin. And we had a great time. Now, I know your lifestyle may be a lot different than mine and it might be harder for you to include your friends sa lifestyle nyo. And that's where your creativity needs to kick in. So, just find a way to make things work. Ito naman, this is an article I saw sa CNN Philippines. So, sabi nila, uh, loneliness peaks in three key ages. So, doon, sabi nila, it's in your late 20s, late 50s, and late 80s. So, iba yung reason ko uh, doon sa article kung bakit ganun yung nangyari. Why, uh, the loneliness peak sa mga ages na to. So, para sa akin kasi, ang nakikita ko doon is because these ages are transitional ages. So, sa late 20s mo, that's a time na nagiging independent ka na, start moving out with your family, tapos nagkakaroon ka ng sarili mong family, you get married, uh, sa partner mo, or kaya naman you're having kids. Yung late 50s mo naman, that's retirement age, uh, parang yun retirement age, eh, nagpe-prepare ka na for your retirement, and then nag-move out na yung kids mo sa sa house nyo, so parang nagiging independent na lang kayo ng partner nyo, so kayong dalawa na lang ng partner nyo. Pero syempre, I want to focus on sa late 20s. Uh, I just want to make uh, parang a point on and this is a counter-argument dun sa sinabi ko kanina. Pero kasi there's some general truth into this uh, argument. So, in reality, uh, pwedeng ma-outgrow mo yung mga friends mo or kaya naman pwedeng ikaw yung ma-left behind. Kasi, totoo lang, magkakaiba tayo ng life phases, magkakaiba tayo ng time phases. Some moves ahead, some moves ahead faster, some moves ahead slower. And dahil doon, we have different priorities na. Some na nag-asawa ng mas maaga, what a baby earlier, hindi na sila sumasama sa mga typical gimmicks nyo, and hindi na sila nakasama sa travel nyo, and that's fine. Siguro what I want to say is find your tribe. Uh, minsan talaga may mauna, may mahuli, and the friends you used to hang out with minsan hindi na compatible, and that's fine. Just appreciate what you had with them. Never close your doors to them kasi di ba malay mo in the future, magkasabay-sabay ulit kayo. Pero never restrict yourself from forming new relationships. Find your tribe na kasabay mo and build new meaningful relationships with them. Never let yourself feel lonely kasi it's normal to outgrow people or kaya naman to be left behind. On a personal note, I never felt yung chronic loneliness. Siguro yung, yung pinaka-lonely na lang na nararamdaman ko is uh, nobody pursued the things that I pursued or Alam mo yun, parang uh, everybody pursued a different path, I pursued uh, a very different path. So, parang mag-isa ka lang in a way na wala kang, walang makarelate sa'yo and nobody will fully understand what you're going through or what you feel. Ayun, let's just wrap this video up. Once uh, everyone has their own life going na, uh, try your best to maintain your presence with your friends and try to include them in your lifestyle pa din. Pero if that doesn't really work, never be afraid to form new meaningful relationships and find your tribe. That's it for this video. If you ever felt lonely or can naman you have thoughts about loneliness, share it in the comment section down below because it's always therapeutic to express yourselves. And malay mo, di ba, there's someone na makabasa nun that could relate to you. At the end of the day, kahit madami pang nakapaligid na tao sa'yo or marami kang kaibigan na nakapaligid sa'yo, if you're not making meaningful connections with them, you'll still feel lonely. And I hope na uh, sa mga nagagawa kong videos, I'm making meaningful connections sa mga nanonood. Because, di ba, parang at the end of the day, para sa akin, parang walang kwenta yung video mo or yung content mo if you're not making meaningful connections to the people who's watching. And kind of reminds me yung, yung pinaka, yung one of the reasons why I started making YouTube videos. And that's to seek connection, meaningful connection to the others na makakapanood yung video ko. Alright, that's it. I hope you appreciate this video. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. So, yun, uh, the Q&A for the uh, parang end video in August is still up. So, if you have questions, leave it in the comment section down below. Alright, that's it. Bye!